Welcome back to Nora's and here we are with Maybe and Brandy and we're going to be demonstrating her version of exactly the same commands that we demonstrated with Martin but you're going to see an entirely different version because she's an entirely different temperament. Brandy is using the same six foot web training leash. She keeps the bulk of that leash folded in her right hand, which leaves the left hand free to give any correction that's needed. And again, it's that little tug and let go on the training collar. Now maybe again is sitting right next to Brandy's left leg at heel position. And the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is her version of healing. Now again, healing is proper leash walking. If she starts to daze off and look at squirrels, you're going to see Brandy gently use that left hand to give that little tug and release that we talked about. And she keeps her shoulders even with Brandy's left leg. If Brandy speeds up, she speeds up. If Brandy slows her pace, maybe does the same. And that's what good healing looks like. It's walking with your owner not ahead of your owner and matching pace with the human. Each time that you stop your feet she sits automatically to wait for her next command. Perfect. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate is her sit stay. Left open palm right in front of her muzzle the one word command to stay. Now if you notice with her Brandy gets further away because she's not as needy, she's more confident. And when Brandy returns back to her again, she walks all the way around her, back to heel, right where they started. And when you get back to her shoulders, you stop. And she expects to get another command. And Rich will be giving you a chance to work with the dogs tomorrow and actually get your hands on the leash because it looks easy when you're watching it on a video when you start doing it you're going to see that it's not as easy as it looks especially because you have a different relationship with the dogs than we do we're their teachers not their moms so it's it's different now with her you can leave her for longer periods of time also in her stay commands she came right in and sat she's looking up at brandy she goes back to heel and back sitting and get praised for a good job. She's very impressive with the way she executes her commands. She's more stable than Martin temperament wise and that's probably genetic. And you can, <laughs> she says, oh, I'm sorry, I was dazing off here in the sun. Nice sit, back to heel, and back sitting. Good girl. I think they've both had a great time at school. They've both learned a lot. They've both come a long way. I think you're going to be very happy with their progress and Rich will answer any questions that you have tomorrow afternoon when he brings them home. Now Brandy's going to demonstrate her down from a heel position. So <laughs> it's down and stay and you can tell she's in it for the long haul. She's not going anywhere. You could literally drop the leash probably and walk away at this point. Five minute long down stay should be a piece of cake for her. When Brandy returns back, she walks all the way around, back to her shoulders and stops, and then heals her out of that. And it's hot and humid and buggy and pollen-y, so they're doing really well. This is your down from a heel. And if you see her body language change, you can get that no word out before she even moves. Brandy's going to call her. Maybe calm. She comes right in and sits. She's a really nice girl.
and we love Martin too, believe me. He's gotten spoiled because he is a little bit more shy and nervous. But they've both done really well. Now the last command that we're gonna demonstrate for you is maybe he's down from a distance. And I think the most important thing to remember is that if you're the pack leader and you're in control, you're issuing the commands, they're performing for you, a lot of the things that you, concerns that you had about their behavior will be corrected with simple obedience training. Brandy's gonna use her right hand to give the command and drop her into a down from a distance. That was beautifully done. So we have demonstrated for you all of Maybe's formal on leash obedience commands and you can tell totally different dog, totally different needs. We've tried to address them each as individuals instead of as Siamese twins and they've done a beautiful job even being away from one another although they've had six playtimes a day together but the training, we have tried to keep them as individuals and we recommend that until you get the hang of this that either two people work them, you know, together, but each two, you know, two people have the leash or you train them one at a time. We have enjoyed having them. They have been a pleasure. We wanna thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company and they will be coming home happily tomorrow. Have a great night and we'll see you soon.